Hi everybody, Mark with Weinberg Choi. I'm gonna talk today about Malt Row. So I'm gonna break this up into three parts. One, to give a little bit of history. Two, to describe and let you know what Malt Row is. And the third thing is, is to allow you to understand how you can benefit from Malt Row. So first, let's take a step back because uh, distillation actually started in ancient Mesopotamia, 2000 BC, a long time ago. And back then they were actually using distillation to produce perfumes and different scents like that and aroma. Then the Greeks got their hands on it and they actually started to use it to purify salt water into pure drinking water. It was also used throughout Europe to actually produce medicines. Now as we know, distillation is heavily used now for the uh, making of spirits, beers, different things like that. And Chicago is in the forefront of this uh, experience. So what we now know is Malt Row, which takes place along the Ravenswood Corridor, right along the Metro Tracks, starts all the way up in Edgewater and works its way down to North Center. Some of the local establishments that you may know, may not, are places like Empirical Brewery, Dovetail, Beguile, Half Acre, very popular one, and places like Band of Bohemia, which for two years in a row, two of its two years that it's actually open, is even Michelin star rated, so even a place to go eat. Another thing that I also love is the distilling side, and Koval is another place, one of my personal favorites, that has some great, great spirits. In fact, Koval has grown so much that it actually helps other organizations and small breweries and distilleries open their doors to the public. So, how does this benefit you? Well, all these local establishments obviously bring us great libations, but they also, being local, give a lot back to the community. So, first thing to do is start exploring these. Since it's still a little bit cold out, start hitting up some of these tap rooms and trying out some of these liquors. The second thing, which is kind of fun, is that a lot of these places actually offer workshops and educational seminars to actually bring knowledge and show individuals what happens behind the stills. The third thing is, is they give a ton in participating in some of these local festivals like Ravenswood Walk and Ravenswood Craft Beer Festival and other opportunities like that. So, if you get a chance, start contributing back locally by drinking some local liquor. Thanks, Mark signing off.